Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel today. We are going to see the four step problem we equate to moon. So, Tesla, this is the name. So, needs to charge n cars before sending them to space. The i car has an energy capacity i watt hours. Therefore, m power outlets and the j outlet provides the power p j watt. Okay. So, if an outlet can charge at most one car and the car can be charged by at most one outlet, the find the maximum total energy in hours. Stored in all the cars after a charge. Okay, so it means like uh, either one outlet can charge one car or vice versa. Like that is the thing that one outlet can only one one car. That is the case. You have to think. So note is provided here. A power outlet cannot charge a different car even after completing a charging charging a car. Okay. So energy is the product of power and time. For instance, a car can store one watt of energy. If we did charge at a power station with one watt for one hour, okay. So we have T, then N, M, and H, then N space integers, N space integers, and the power. So, like we have to solve this question. How can we solve this question? Let's see some example. So, in this case, we have only one car, okay. So we can charge maximum by two hours. So let's suppose if we charge with this outlet, then 20 cross 2, that is 40. And 40 cross 2, it is 80. So what will be the maximum? Maximum possible is this one. So this will be the answer. Okay. Hope you understand this. So this will be the answer. And this, and see another case, that is this one. So we have 10 capacity and 20 capacity. Okay. And we can charge again power output. We have only 11. The maximum power it can provide. Okay. So we can either charge this car or this car. Okay. We can choose anything. And we have two R. So 10 cross 2, 20. Sorry. 11 cross 2. That will be 22. But it has capacity only 10. So it can store only 10. Okay. So same with the other another case. So what is the maximum possible it can store? So it has 20. So we have choice between 10 and 20. What will be the maximum? Maximum is 20. So our answer will be 20. So let's see this case also. So for this case, let's suppose first car will charge with this. So it can maximum provide energy 30 and this can maximum provide plus 20. Third, we can't charge because there is no power outlet. So total will be 50. Okay. So this is the answer for this question. So like, let's see how can we solve this question. For solving this problem, what we can do, we can sort the array. Okay. Sort the array in descending order. So that let's see this example to understand. Now this, okay, let's take this only. So 30, 30 and 30. So it is already given descending order 40 and 20. Okay. So what we will do, we will run a loop i equal to 0. So i less than minimum of n comma m okay i plus plus we will do so what we will check we will check we will add the in the answer answer variable is initially zero so we will add in this variable answer variable what we will add we will add minimum of
capacity. Capacity will be, let's suppose this is B1 vector and this is B2 vector. So V1 of I, this is the capacity and charge, how much it can charge H cross V2 of I. Okay. So this will be our answer. So what we have to careful about that first, like we have to sort the array in descending order. And another one more important thing in while taking the input for this question, especially we will declare vector of long, long. So that is mandatory condition here. I don't know why, but it is. Hope you understand the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you.